Yeah. So as far as the topics for uh, project finance modeling are concerned, uh, we essentially uh, cover uh, the project finance modeling through a case study on a residence on a real estate commercial deal. So essentially we take a real estate commercial deal, a commercial complex as a case study and, and we build a completely integrated financial model for the commercial complex. So, so how do you go about doing it? How do you build the assumptions? How do you build the area parameters? How do you build the EPC cost and the phasing of the EPC cost? How do you finance the project through debt and equity? Right. So if you're taking debt, then what should be the interest uh, component? What should be the interest during construction? And, uh, and if you're introducing equity, then how do you maintain a debt equity ratio? Then once you have the financing and the capital expenditures scheduled in place, how do you go about uh, projecting the income and the expenditures? How do you project the net operating income? How do you project the expenditures? How do you build the complete financial statements and how do you go about valuing and, and analyzing the project? So valuing and analysis, we both do a discounted cash flow method. And apart from that, uh, we, uh, we also use the net operating income to, to value the project. So, so, so everything is, uh, is done from scratch and you go about doing it step by step. Apart from that, we also, um, help you understand smaller nuances and concepts in project finance model through smaller models. So essentially, how do you, uh, go about, let's say using circular references to build interest during construction? How do you model depreciation and deferred taxes? And if you have deferred taxes, how do you build loss carried forward? Apart from that, if there are multiple parties involved in the project, so for example, if it's a joint venture between, let's say, a developer and let's say an investor, then uh, then how are the cash is distributed? How are they tranched? How does the uh, developer make sure uh, uh, that their interest is protected and and they are and they are given uh, sufficient upside? How does the investor protect their downside? And, and how do you go about modeling delays? So obviously if you want to model delays, how do you use the date functions uh, to model delays? Uh, and, and if you if you want to uh, build a cash flow tranching and let's say a debt service account, how do you go about doing it? So it's, it's a completely uh, uh, hands-on course and it's a comprehensive course on all the aspects related to project finance modeling. And, and as far as the basic concepts are concerned, they are quite generic in nature and you can pretty much use them in any industry if you're working, let's say if you're working in the oil and gas, if you're working in the real estate industry, or for that matter, if you're working in, let's say roads, if you're working in any infra related industry, let's say if you're working in, in, in power or, or, or for that matter, anything that requires project financing, uh, it's it's all included uh, so the so basic concepts still remain the same so so if you were to just uh, glance through the course content the course content essentially has a case study on project finance as i told you the case study utilizes um, uh, utilizes a real estate commercial project as as the case so initially we introduced to you the profit and loss uh, what's basically the profit and loss balance sheet and the cash flow statement then we introduce uh, the basics of excel that you need for project finance modeling then we introduce what is project finance modeling, what is uh, the specific nuance of project finance and how is it different from a normal valuation model, how do you go about building the area, the engineering procurement, the construction cost, how do you go about uh, building the interest during construction, how circular reference is used for that. Apart from that, uh, how do you build about, how do you build the capital expenditure schedule? How can you use macros for financial modeling? So these are advanced concepts around financial modeling, how you can use macros for financial modeling. Then how do you use some of the advanced uh, Excel features like index match, sum if uh, uh, to, to model delays. Uh, then we also introduced to you another uh, model around credit risk modeling that, use, uh, that uses uh, array functions in Excel. Apart from that, it also utilizes the lookup functions. Then how do you go about building the debt schedule, the debt repayment schedule, the revenue schedule, the cost schedule. Then we have uh, uh, sessions on deferred taxes and depreciation models. Uh, then how do you go about building the asset schedule, the operational cost, pre etc. et cetera. Apart from that, we have a bonus uh, session on, on a real, uh, uh, on a real company modeling. That's, that's more related to valuation modeling for LinkedIn. Then we go about creating the equity balance sheet and the cash flow statement. And then we go about, um, uh, analyzing that for valuation 
and analyzing the net operating income so essentially we analyze net operating income and the capitalization and the capitalization rate for valuation apart from that we have advanced sessions around monte carlo simulation and creating the dashboard for project finance model now if i were to just uh, run you through the model you start with the assumptions so as far as the assumptions are concerned they are related to the date functions so so as far as the assumptions then we have the area assumptions the epc cost assumptions etc then we build the area we build the engineering procurement the construction cost we build the complete project cost the capital expenditure schedule the funding schedule then we analyze all these schedules using the summif function if you can see in the in the formula bar then we build the debt schedule the operational revenue expenditure asset equity then we project the complete pnl balance sheet and the cash flow statement and then we go about analyzing this for valuation and utilizing the capitalization rate for valuation apart from that we have also built monte carlo simulation on the same model in a next version uh, apart from that we have complete scenario analysis built for you right so that's what we do as far as the project finance modeling is concerned now going forward uh, from 15th of may uh, we are again introducing uh, uh, the cash flow modeling uh, uh, the cash flow modeling uh, also in the project finance uh, modeling school so if you are registered for the financial modeling school you'll also get uh, get access to the Uh, uh to the module on modeling cash for listed companies using the indirect method